In this video, I will show you step by step how to make pixel art NFT easily for free. I will be using a very cool website that allows us to create pixel NFT easily and for free. I will walk you through each and every step of creating pixel art NFT. After watching this video, you will be able to create a pixel art NFT of your own. So watch this video until the very end for the ultimate pixel art NFT tutorial. Without wasting any more, time let's get started. So first of all, let's open up the website to create the pixel art. Open the browser on your system and search for pixel art. Now, open up the first result shown in the search results. This is the website using which we are going to create our artwork. You can explore all features of this website if you want. If you click on this gallery tab right here, you can see various artworks created by different people using this website. You can check these out and take them as an inspiration for creating your artworks. You can also create artwork like these using this website if you are willing to put in the time and effort. So to create the pixel art, first of all, click on the start drawing button on the top right corner of this page. Now you will be taken to this page where you can start working on your pixel art. Now I will give you a quick tour of this workspace so that you can get a better idea about creating pixel art using this website. So this right here is your workspace and you can see that this is divided into many small pixels. You can start drawing your art instantly by choosing any of these tools available on this website. So this right here is the pencil tool which we will be using mostly for drawing the art. This is the eraser tool for erasing any mistakes. This is the brush tool. This is the line tool. And this is the bucket tool, which we will be using to fill in things while drawing. We also have various shapes and other tools, which we will be using for making the art. You are familiar with most of these tools, so I don't necessarily need to introduce all of them to you. If you are confused about a tool, just hover your mouse pointer over it, and you could see the name of the tool. Towards the top left corner of this page, you have the menu, and you can go back to the home page or any other page by clicking on them from here. You can create a new file, export, or save your project by clicking over here. You also have various color choices under this colors option next to the file option. Then, we have the various select options like cut, copy, and paste under here. Then we have the layers option. You can create new layers and manage them from here. You have the project settings right here, and you can change all of the settings from this tab. Right next to it, we have the download option, and after that, we have the undo and redo options. You can either use these options or just use the shortcut keys for these actions. Now, towards the right side of the workspace, we have most importantly the Layers tab. You can add, delete, hide, and do various other things to the layers from here. Down here, you have the Color panel. You can choose various colors from here, and you can also add your custom colors to it. So that was a brief tour of this website. Before drawing the art, first of all, I am going to create a new project with a smaller size for a more pixelated look for our artwork. So click on File on the top left corner of the page and then click on New. Now, set the height and width of the canvas. I am choosing 32 by 32 pixels as it is the best size for creating pixel art in my opinion. After entering the size, click on New Drawing. Now, let's start drawing our artwork. What I am planning to draw is a heart shape. You should also have a clear idea about what you are going to draw as it will make the process a lot more easier. I am going to start off by drawing the border of the art. For that, I am selecting the pencil tool and then make sure that the color selected is black. Now I am going to draw the outline. While drawing, you can always press undo if you mess anything up. As you can see, I have finished the outline. Now, let's fill this up with red color. To do that, click on the bucket tool from this tools list and then choose the color from this panel right here. 
Now, fill up the gap inside the outline. Now, I am going to give this heart a little detailing. So, to do that, I am going to select the pencil tool and change the color to white. Now, I am just drawing the details. Like that, we have created the first layer. Now, let's add a background layer to this art. To do that, click on this Add icon in the Layer tab. For this art, I am going to give a solid color background. So, I am just selecting the Bucket tool and then choosing the color for the background. Now, just fill the layer up. As you can see, our art has disappeared. Don't worry, just go over to the Layer tab and then click and drag this layer on top of the background layer that we just created. So now, our artwork is visible. As you might have noticed, the heart shape that we drew is not aligned properly. To fix that, click on this Move tool from the Tools box and then move the shape towards the center of this canvas. Now, the shape is aligned properly. If you want, you can also add some more details to this art. I am going to add some more details to the background of this art. So to do that, first of all, create a new layer. You can use your creativity here and play around with all these tools. I am going to select the gradient tool from these. It will create a gradient overlay over the layers below it. It looks cool. So let's just add a gradient layer to our artwork. After selecting the tool, choose a color for the gradient. After that, click somewhere and drag to create the gradient overlay. We don't want the gradient overlay to be on top of the shape. So just select the layer and drag it on top of the gradient layer. So now the gradient will only affect the background. Now, I am also going to add some more details to this art. This time, I am going to use the spray paint tool. So first of all, create a new layer. Now, select the tool and then pick the color for spray painting. Now, just start painting. I am just making some spray paints on each corner of the canvas. Like that, I have added some more details to our artwork. So now we have created this artwork. This only took me a few minutes, and I think it looks okay. If you can spend some more time on creating the art, you can definitely come up with a really good artwork. Now, let's go ahead and download this artwork. So to do that, click on the download button right here and then click on Download PNG. Now, give a name for the art and then hit Save. Like that, you have successfully created a pixel art. Now, if you want to list this art as an NFT on OpenSea, you can check my other video, in which I show you how to list your artwork as an NFT on OpenSea for free. I will add the link to that video in the description below, so make sure to check it out. I have also made a few other videos about designing NFT artworks very easily using artificial intelligence and Canva. If you want, you can also check those videos out. So that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want more of these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you soon. Bye.